Welcome to potentially the stupidest video I will ever do. Today I'm going to be giving myself a tattoo and I'm 14 years old. Now, before you flip, I've done some research into this and from what I've found this is not illegal because I'm doing it on myself. I've ordered the correct stuff, so I have this Lining Black Black Night Ink. It's just tattoo ink, basically, because you have to get stuff that is safe for your skin, and this is from a tattoo tattoo brand. Also have sterile tattoo needles, because I'm not risking getting any, any infections. I've got some Surgical Spirit, which is basically the same as rubbing alcohol to clean my skin, and anything else that might need cleaning. Okay. Let's get started. I'm very nervous. Also, quick disclaimer, do not recommend this. There is obviously risks at doing yourself a tattoo. I am taking those risks on. Um, I also want to point out that I have got parental consent to do this. I asked my mum if she would mind if I did a very, very small tattoo and she didn't mind, especially because these ones usually fade. But obviously I am doing this in the risk that it might not. I also want to point out that I've searched into all the risks of doing this and I've also searched into um, how to do it and watched tutorials on it and just um, also, oh my god, really quickly, do not class this as a tutorial. I mean, if you're gonna do it, then by all means watch this and see what you think after I've done it. But I would not class this as a tutorial because I'm not recommending people do this. This is not a good idea. So I've been trying some designs and one of the ones I'm doing is the one you just saw on my wrist that is all smudged. Um, I'm just gonna remove that with a wet wipe so that I can wash the area thoroughly before tattooing it properly. Oh my god. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is head downstairs, um, find a cup or a little cap or something that I can put the ink in, um, boil some water in the kettle and pour it all over it, and then also I will clean it out with the um, surgical um, spirit. Cap off of a bottle of water so that I can just clean this out because this is the perfect size. I won't be needing much ink for a really small tattoo, obviously. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to boil the kettle real quick and then uh, put it all over this, and then I'm going to clean it out with surgical spirit. So I've put the um, cap in some boiling water in a pot that I also just rinsed out of boiling water. So I'm just going to let that <laughs> stay in there a second and sterilise. Okay, so the next step is to make the area I'm going to do it sterile. So I'm actually going to take up some cling film and some kitchen roll and I'm going to put that across the surface to make it clean. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is get a wipe and just clean the surface with that first off. So I'm going to get some cling film. By the way, I've just washed my hands thoroughly before I've done this and I'm going to wash them again before I do the actual um, tattoo. So I'm going to put this across the surface that I'm going to be putting my arm on. And then I'm going to get a piece of kitchen roll, put that on top of the cling film, tape it down to the cling film. This is what I've just done. So it's a piece of cl um, cling film and kitchen roll stuck onto that, onto a clean surface. And then this just makes it a bit more sterile to do it on obviously. Now I'm going to go back down to see how the cap is doing <laughs> in the boiling water. Okay so I think I'm now just gonna get the cap, pour this water over it real quick and then that should be somewhat sterilized. This is very hot. I'm gonna put it on some kitchen roll real quick so that it can dry. Meanwhile I'm now gonna wash my hands absolutely thoroughly with antibacterial helm wash and then I'm gonna dry my hands with kitchen roll so that um, I'm not like putting my hands on towels that other people have touched. Okay, here we go. Okay. So I'm gonna open this. This is Surgical Spirit, as I said before, similar to rubbing alcohol. Just gonna open this. This is a fresh bottle. I'm gonna get a cotton ball, put some on this, and then I'm just gonna clean the cap out it. This is insane, I can't believe I'm doing this. Next I'm going to get a clean cotton wool ball, put more of this surgical spirit on it and then I'm going to clean the area that I'm going to be tattooing. So, the tattoo I'm going to be doing today is actually three little lines, which is going to represent me, my mum and my nan. Or my mum, my nan and my dad. It doesn't really matter, but basically family is a long and short. I've got this pen and I'm going to draw on my design and I'm going to keep drawing it on until I'm happy with it.
Okay, so I'm gonna go off of the camera a minute and go and sort out where I want to put this and then once I've got it on where I'm happy with it, I'll be back. I think I'm happy with the placement I've got here. Do you know what I might actually do? As it's open like this, I might not use the cap. I might just dip the needle straight in there and I think that would be a bit more sanitary. So let's lose the cap. Okay. Pull out one of these needles. Just let that spark. Okay. So as you can see, it is starting to come out. So I'm just gonna keep going over it and over it and over it and I'll be back once it like, you know, this is like 12 minutes work, <laughs> but it's gonna take a while. So I'll come back once it's like starting to show up more. Quick update, it is finally starting to show up a bit more. Um, I've pushed a little tiny bit deeper, but you have to be careful not to go too deep, obviously. Um, but I actually spoke to my friend, I quickly snapchatted her and was like, it's not showing up very well, because I kind of panicked. I was like, what's going on with it? Why is it not showing up? But I think I just needed to go a little bit deeper because now I can definitely see it there and I'm gonna keep going over it. I'm starting to be a lot more happy with how it looks. If anyone's wondering what level of pain tolerance this is, by the way, like, I don't have the best pain tolerance, to be honest, and this is not hurting me at all. Okay, it's now probably been another half an hour since I last recorded. This is how it's looking, and I am pretty happy with it. Uh, it's definitely still not as dark as I'd like, so I don't know, I'll probably keep going over it for a bit more. <laughs> it's starting to tingle, so I don't know if that's a good sign, but um, it's probably not, but... I don't know, I'm going to go over it a little bit more, uh, but then I'm probably going to stop and then I might carry it on like tomorrow or something off camera, I don't know. And maybe just add a picture of the finish result at the end. So I am pretty much happy with how this is now. So I'm gonna do one last, um, one last like dip on each row. <laughs> and then I'm going to clean it and put some ointment on it. And then um, probably put some like either a bandage or some cling film or something on it um, and keep it all clean. And there we have it. I literally, like straight up literally have a tattoo. That's so mental. So what I'm going to do is grab a fresh cotton wool ball and go in with some surgical spirit. I'm going to clean it up. Just to be super, super clean, I'm gonna go in with one more cotton wool ball with that ointment on. Oh shit, I spilled it, great. Um, this is like a close-up of it. You can see the um, the dots where you stick and poke the needle. But um, but in general, like, I don't mind that at all. And I think, to be fair, <laughs> this is such an affordable way. I think this cost me, in general, like maybe £15 to do. I then have some Savlon antiseptic cream. Um, this is to clean and help prevent infections. So this is what I'm going to use next on top of the tattoo. I've just put a big plaster over the top, making sure that this bit is the bit on the tattoo. I heard a rumor that you're not meant to put plasters on after tattoos, but I mean, it's the most hygienic thing I've got to put on it. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna make sure I change this all the time because I think the risk is probably the fact that plasters can trap in bacteria. So I'm gonna make sure I change this probably in like an hour and then I'll keep the other one on for a few hours and then I'll switch it again before bed. Um, I'll make sure I keep it nice and clean. So yeah. Uh, that's basically the video, I guess, then. I have a tattoo. <laughs> um, this took, like, two and a half hours in total, I think, with all the cleaning and everything. But either way, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Do not recommend for you to do this at home. But if you have par uh, parental consent and you really want to do it and you think that you can take the right, you know, 
you know the risks and you can take it on, then, I mean, it's not up to me. So, yeah. Anyway, this is the final thing. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye!